Hi there, this is Dr. Malwani, and uh, we're here to talk about keratoconus treatment. And uh, there's been a lot of changes since the first video I made about this about two and a half years ago. Um, and changes to what we do in our protocol that have actually made things even better. Um, keratoconus is a progressive corneal ectasia. Um, corneal ectasia is a weakening or loss of structure of the cornea that causes a cone-like shape as a bone, as it bows forward. There are other corneal ectasias as well, such as pellucid marginal degeneration. There is LASIK-induced or surgical-induced corneal ectasia where the actual procedure thins the bed too much and causes a loss of structure that causes a keratoconus-like uh, situation. These are all treated the same way, and you know, current treatment is still not great. From 2019 to late 2021, as we're making this video, we're still doing scleral lenses, <clears throat> intact placement by some doctors, which I really don't think helps very much uh, because it's a gross placement of these plastic pieces that push down on the cornea. There's corneal cross-linking that freezes the cornea, prevents progression, but does not actually cause any improvement or have any improvement in the vision, very little actually. And a lot of doctors are doing epithelial on instead of epithelial off cross-linking, which doesn't get as deep, which still means some people may progress. Um, topographic guided ablation or market name Contura is what we've used to actually <clears throat> smooth or normalize the cornea and actually decrease that irregularity. And then we've actually frozen it in place with corneal cross-linking. We've talked about this in the past and in past videos about this. We've taken it a step further um, because we've now incorporated the actual epithelial compensation of the irregularity. What that means is the top skin layer will also compensate for some of that irregularity, that cone shape that's occurring. And this is a, you know, a, a, a uh, this shows the cone shape that occurs, that it actually bulges forward in keratoconus. This is a laser corneal topographic guide ablation map of this. And <clears throat> what that does is, is that the laser then decreases that cone shape. If you use the epithelial compensation as part of the treatment, in other words, we actually do this in a way where what the epithelium compensates and hides in the way of irregularity, and it hides that from this system, we're now treating that as well. So essentially, we're treating that la layer of irregularity. The irregularity caused sorry, treated by the topographic guided ablation, and then we're freezing it into shape with topographic guided ablation. And it really is pretty interesting. Here we have a case of mild keratoconus, and you can see right here this coming forward. It's mild to moderate. And this is about two months later. Um, this fellow, literally the cornea looks like a totally normal cornea, like we've just done a normal LASIK or PRK on him. This fellow is 20-20 in this eye now. Um, this eye had pretty severe keratoconus. We can see the topography is bulging forward pretty significantly. This eye now, this is two months out, actually has a marked severity in its irregularity. And this person refracts with about a minus two to 2025. Um, and we're definitely seeing a decrease in that overall irregularity as we're using the epithelial compensation of the irregularity and treating that, um, as we're then doing the contura or the topographic guided ablation to normalize the cornea. And that we're doing utilizing the San Diego protocol, which uses the <clears throat> astigmatism as measured by the system rather than by hand. And then we are actually using epithelial off cross-linking to freeze it into place. Uh, we published um, a lot of these results already in clinical ophthalmology earlier this year. This part of the, this, this actual evolution of the procedure, we actually haven't fully published yet. It's included in that article, but we've now gone 
completely to this treatment because we simply find this is a better treatment. This is something that is restoring the more natural shape of a cornea as much as possible with the amount that the tissue availability constrains it. And this is really important because what happens is the more the keratoconus progresses, the thinner the cornea gets. So it's kind of a logarithmic issue. It's not a very fair disease. In other words, the worse it gets, the more tissue we need, the less tissue we have to actually do this fix. Uh, the entire idea here, of course, is to create as normal and as smooth a cornea as possible. So we'd like to catch this in as early a stage as possible. Obviously, like the eyes I showed you, one was sort of mild to moderate and the other one was pretty severe, but they've really been able to come a long way because we had enough tissue to work with in his particular cornea. And we really have had some very, very nice results with this. And this is very different, for example, just trying to treat the prescription as PRK, um, as some doctors are trying to do, or do cross-linking after that. This is actually reshaping the cornea, reconstructing it. This is laser reconstruction of the cornea. And that is a very different proposition because you're trying to make a much more normal cornea. That's important not just for vision, potential vision, but for optics, to how much glare you have, how much doubling you have, what quality of vision you have. And what we want this to be is a relatively permanent solution. We know that when you do FBOF cross-linking, you really have a very, very, very low chance of progression. This is something we've known for many years uh, from international work with this. And so there's a very low chance of progression. So what we'd like to do is create a situation where we get as normal a cornea as possible and then freeze it into place. And this allows you, for example, if even if we can't get full correction, if we don't have enough tissue to get full correction of the prescription, then you can wear glasses, a contact lens. If it's very severe still, a scleral lens is much more easily fitted. But uh, we're finding we really are able with this procedure to get some really nice results where patients really are not wearing a lot of correction or if the correction they're wearing is much less than it was before. So this evolution has made quite the difference and it's very different from you know, uh, intact. It's very different from trying to laser correct and then freeze into place. This is a true corneal reconstruction um, <clears throat> with the laser of, uh, of the cornea and uh, a, a, a true treatment for keratoconus. And uh, this is Dr. Matwani. If you would like to see more, we're at our website, www.drmatwani.com. Um, and we are in beautiful San Diego, California.